All right, all right, all right. Hey, YouTube, I'm Lucky, and in today's video, we're going to be going over a little bit of spoilers and leaks that have come from next season in Destiny 2. That's season 17. We know the name of the season. We know a bunch of things. There was a giant pay spin that was released, and I want to give you a fair spoiler warning before we dive into all of this, because obviously some of you may not want to know all this stuff. But if you are interested, if you haven't already seen that pay spin, or if you want to discuss things further, because it's been out for a little while now, that's this is the video right here so let's go ahead and jump right in um season 17 is season of the lord we have iron banner six weapons added four brand new and two reissued new solar breach loader grenade launcher so that's some pretty exciting stuff there i love you know new weapons of course that's my uh fascination with destiny 2 it's what i love to grind for those god rolls we got new stasis rapid fire fusion rifle new solar rapid fire drum loaded grenade launcher New Void Precision Auto Rifle. Returning is Frost Myers Hex, the Rapid Fire Arc Scout Rifle. And returning is the Allied Demand Adaptive Void Sidearm. So that's pretty interesting right there. The Iron Banner uh, revamp, obviously, is illustrated with all of those weapons. Definitely interesting things. Uh, Crow will actually act as the new Iron Banner vendor, which is actually really exciting. We'll see how that comes about. Um, Iron Banner Reputation will be earned at a slightly faster rate than Crucible and Gambit Rep, so um, trying to motivate more people to jump into Iron Banner. The vendor changes will mirror the new changes the to the Drifter. Interesting. And focusing engrams will be expensive, but help guarantee players the loot they desire. So that's exciting for Iron Banner stuff. Uh, blue drops have been eliminated from post-game rewards, similar to the treatment of the playlist got with the Witch Queen. Uh, armor focusing will be available and will function similar to the drops from the final encounter in Pit of Heresy. So that's pretty exciting. Um, new guildable sealed called Iron Lord. The difficulty to acquire is similar to Conqueror slash Flawless. So that's a cool little PvP focused title, a little seal there. Uh, there will be a rotating daily flame. So we've got Arc, Solar, Void, and Stasis visible in the courtyard. During each flame... Players using the corresponding subclass will see an increased charge rate and damage output for their abilities. That sounds pretty crazy. Obviously, they're doing a giant ability overhaul and uh, nerfing a good amount of abilities, but apparently this flame thing is going to turn things up, and uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, not particularly excited about abilities getting a much faster recharge rate, but um, perhaps that will rotate classes around a little bit more, and maybe it'll be fun, for example, on like the arc times of the flame when we have don't have arc 3.0 because obviously it's solar 3.0 next season um without going into too much detail fun modifiers will be added to make the game feel like a more fast-paced but still challenging version of the normal crucible uh eververse will celebrate the iron banner rework by selling old iron banner ornaments and other new iron banner cosmetics for silver so you have all of that that's going to be a good amount of the iron banner section coming next season then we'll jump into some of the story, and then we'll go over Solar 3.0 in just a minute. It's going to get pretty crazy here, so get ready. Uh, the story, you got the Plague Lands return to the Cosmodrome as originally planned. Uh, season focuses on Lord Saladin, now Brachis Forge. Uh, Saladin appoints Crow uh, to run the Iron Banner and watch over the Iron Temple. With Saladin gone, a rogue band of Siva Splicers seeks to take back the Plague Lands after pushing back the waves of Splicers and recovering the ancient Warmind node. With the help of Anna Brea, the Warmind is reassembled. Uh, a reprise strike, the Wretched Eye. Exciting. I uh, remember that one. A uh, new six-player activity, Iron Siege, defend the Iron Temple from waves of splicers. Has legendary and master difficulty. A new dungeon, the Golden Age, an ancient Warmind signal is discovered deep in the Plague Lands. A powerful Vandal uh, Bravix stumbles across an old Warmind cache and seeks to use its power to two boss fights, one puzzle encounter, one major platforming section. Um, rituals of all and shacks to get to the drifter treatment in season 18 crucible weapon kinetic aggressive shotgun uh, vanguard ops vice lightweight arc submachine gun and gambit void wave frame grenade launcher uh, we've got solar 3.0 we've got with the solar 3.0 revamp we've got these changes coming um, now some of these terminologies may not be familiar because obviously there's going to be a lot changing we've got burn explode heal empower and radiate uh, those are going to be the big uh, names that we'll be using with Solar 3.0. Obviously, we had a similar thing with Void. Uh, Radiate heals the user and nearby allies very slowly over time. It gives increased weapon reload speed for the duration of the effect, and your super charges more quickly. 
Warlocks, supers, well of radiance. Tier 5 no longer grants an overshield. Overshields are reserved for void. So keep that in mind. We got daybreak, air move, changed while holding crouch. You plummet straight down, similar to the current movement of bottom tree dawn blade. Melee, celestial fire, impact damage decreased, but now it causes enemies to burn. Guiding flame and power duration extended from 6 to 10 seconds. Aspects. Heat rises, activating heat rises allows the user to radiate for the dur duration of the effect. Benevolent Dawn, no changes. Divine Protection, no longer gives an overshield. Icarus Dash, not too many changes. Hunters, Supers, we got Golden Gun. Hitting three consecutive headshots now gives a fourth shot. Uh, Blade Barrage, defeated enemies now explode. PV damage doubled. Melees, we got Weighted Knife. Precision Kills now grant Radiate. Knife Trick, decreased cooldown. Aspects, Explosive Knives, Knives stick to walls and explode when enemies are in proximity. Practice Makes Perfect now grants Radiate. Um, we've got knife party kills with throwing knives cause enemies to explode. Um, combat medic burn damage heals you. Interesting stuff for hunters. Now let's move on to Titans. We got supers burning mall is a tier three consecutive hits on the same target. Now increase super damage. That'd be pretty interesting to see how much damage that super can do. Uh, hammer soul hammers explode by default. Now melee mortar blast causes enemies to explode and burn. Throwing hammer unchanged aspect sunspots defeating targets with any solar ability burn or explode creates a uh, creates a sunspot at their feet standing inside a sunspot empowers you and causes your abilities to recharge faster. Tempered metal uh, is reworked slightly. Solar ability kills cause nearby allies to radiate. Roaring flames unchanged. Rage of Vulcan when targets explode they cause nearby enemies to burn. Fragments we got cast of destruction. Okay, grenade kills cause enemies to explode. Cast of ever flame is another fragment. Increased duration of heal and power and radiate effects. Cast of Radiance, casting your super grants radiate. Cast of Play, your melee causes enemies to burn. Cast of Fire, your burn and lingering grenade effects last longer. Um, many more that they have yet to see in this uh, in the notes here. Uh, sandbox, um, hesitant to touch Void 3.0 until it's been out for a season. The team is looking to address fusion rifles and hand cannons in the Crucible. We've got heavy grenade launchers. Are not in a good spot. They're hybrid damage and add clear weapon, but they don't fit that role. Also considering a nerf to Galhorn, as it is very hot, but wanted to wait a few months for G Horn. F's in the comments for G Horn, getting a nerf potentially. Looking to ways to bring up underused archetypes in PvE, such as sidearms and auto rifles. Uh, Solstice of Heroes. Looks like it will be in the EAZ. Again, no significant changes. Armor appears to be more vibrant this year. Other, a new PvP map called Symposium. And is set in the throne world, the light part. Season pass exotic appears to be a SIVA infused scout rifle. Hmm. So much interesting things. Uh, so many interesting things, rather, coming from season 17. I know that was a lot to unpack in an instant there, but uh, definitely a lot of exciting things. I mean, the story, Solar 3.0, the Iron Banner revamp, obviously a ton. We have already have a ton of things confirmed from Bungie with a huge you know, sandbox overhaul with weapons. That compiled with the second update to all of that seems like season 17 is going to be definitely a high focus of pvp and i'm definitely excited for it I'm excited to jump in the new dungeon as well hopefully you are excited and maybe i'll see you out there maybe we'll be uh, entering the raffles for those dungeon carries on the twitch channel that's gonna be a wrap for today's video make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed i'll keep you up to date on all the news in destiny 2 smash the like button see you in the next one later